Hey, hello everybody. I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, welcome to Greg Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Big Wood Brewery Craft Brewed Morning Wood Coffee Stout. Boy, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Malt beverage with coffee added. And it's got to still have the sticker. This is one of them that uh, Matt sent me. Uh, they're out of Cold Spring, Minnesota. And it still has a sticker. Uh, I guess he paid this as three dollars and seventy nine cents for the sixteen ounce can. Seems a little on the pricier side. Uh, uh, I have two different uh, ABVs for this, and I don't know uh, which one is correct. I tried going to the site and I couldn't get there. Uh, Beer Advocate says it's five point five percent. It's not written on the can, but Rate Beer says it's three point seven percent, which is very very weak. Uh, this. So, uh, the commercial description says the coffee aroma brings you back to the first couple of days, hence the name Morning Wood. This is a dry stout, dark in color, light bodied with a creamy, roasty character. Okay, this, uh, this beer is an American stout, year round availability. Food pairings for this one cuisine, uh, barbecue, the cheeses, buttery brie, gouda, havarti, Swiss. Your earthy cheese, Camembert, Martina. The meat for this is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Uh, glassware is pint, Beckerstein, and mug, a tumbler, and not recommended for extended cellaring, so let's not cellar it any further. And it does have some writing on the bottom of the can, but it doesn't reminisce me to, uh, about any day. It says MW, I'm assuming that's Morning Wood, 014B 043B. Then underneath that, it's got 1603. So I don't have any idea what those numbers mean, guys. So it is a very dark color. Alrighty. Very dark. I'm getting just a little bit of ruby red tinges around the outside, but not very much. It is a very rich, dark beer. It's pretty good at that pour. We got a semi-easy pour. I didn't want it to have a 16-ounce can. I wanted to put it in this 20-ounce glass and not be overflowing. So it looks pretty good. A nice finger of head, off-white, uh, very creamy looking on top. Let's get a nose on it. Thanks again, Matt. Definitely getting the coffee, a little bit of chocolate there, toffee, and some roasted malt. That's what I'm getting on the nose. Let's see what we're getting. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Matt. Definitely tell there's coffee there. There's coffee added. It tastes like coffee. You could drink this for breakfast. You really could. No hint of the alcohol. Whatever it is. It's very thin though. A little on the lighter and watery side. Caramel toffee. Just a little bit of chocolate. Mostly coffee. That's what I'm getting now. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's see where it ends up. Stick around. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. This would be, like a, like I said, a good morning beer if you actually drink beer in the morning, which I, I do not. I have to go to work and have to function and run saws and stuff, and I don't want to cut any fingers and then that kind of stuff off, so I don't drink while I'm working. So, 
Uh, this is very nice. A little on the thinner side, but it has got the coffee. If you like the coffee taste, like I said, I'm not really sure what the ABV is. I got three point something and five point something. It's not on the can, so. Coffee, roasted malt, and just a little bit of bittersweet chocolate. Slight hot pre presence now, but like I said, I think it was probably a little more, a little more present in, in a pressure can. So final chug. It's a decent beer. I don't know if it's worth quite the uh, three dollars and seventy nine cents for one can, even though it is a sixteen ounce can. And not having a legible date on the bottom of it, uh, I don't know. It's kind of questionable. I don't know if you'd see a lot of those in the fridge if it was available here or not, guys. Uh, it was okay, above average, but not blowing my socks off or my hair back. So, uh, I would, if it had a date, I'd probably give it a B. But since it doesn't have a date, it's going to get to B minus, which is a five. Uh, definitely above average, though. Uh, very easy drinking. Detected no alcohol. Sessionable, so it's got a bitter back end on, and I'm, I'm, I swear I'm getting the bitter sweet chocolate out of, but, or a part of the hops too there. So it's okay. I mean, uh, nothing to write home about. So Matt still appreciate you sending me this. I enjoyed trying these new beers, and if you've had these beers, uh, let me know what you think of this beer. Uh, I don't know if they, how many other ones they do. This is the only one I've ever had from them so far, and uh, it was okay. So. Uh, Miss comments back on this one if you've had it, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit that like button. Let's go see the picture in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.